Here is the ISI BSTAT and BMAT entrance 2014 problem number 8. This problem says what is the ratio of areas of the regular pentagons inscribed inside a circle and circumscribed around a given circle. So to solve this problem we need to understand a few key concepts and they are how to find area of a regular pentagon that's the first thing we need to know and we will also bring a notion of similar triangles and we will be comparing areas of two similar triangles and that will be the main con concept to solve the problem. So let us go ahead and try to understand the concepts. We want to find out area of a regular pentagon and for that as the first step we want to prove that any regular pentagon is cyclic. What do I mean by that? Is the vertices of the regular pentagon A, B, C, D and E they all lie on a circle. To do that we need to consider a few facts. The first fact is internal angle of a regular pentagon is 108. I am not going to prove it. If you can please write your answer in the comment below. Now if I consider the angles to be 108 that means this angle is also 108 and this triangle ADE is isosceles because this side and this side they both are sides of regular pentagon and that makes the triangle isosceles. In that case these two base angles will be equal and we can easily understand that they both will be equal to 36 degrees. And as this total angle is an internal angle of a regular pentagon then the remaining portion of this angle will be 72 and we already know that this angle is 108 again internal angle of regular pentagon so the opposite angle of this quadrilateral are supplemented and this makes the quadrilateral ABCD is cyclic. Now the next thing is any three non-collinear points lie on a unique circle. Okay fine. We can understand that D, A, B will lie on the circle C1 which is the circumcircle of this A, B, C, D quadrilateral. Similarly I can show A, B, D, E will also be cyclic and in that case let me assume C2 is the circle which passes through the points A, B, D and E. So C1 circle passes through A, B, C, D and C2 circle passes through A, B, D, E. So we can understand that C1 and C2 both passes through A, B and D because these three points are common in these two quadrilaterals. And as we are considering this fact, three non-collinear points always lie on a unique circle then we can understand C1 and C2 are basically same circle. Let's call it C. C1 and C2 is equal to C. They will pass through this particular circle C will pass through all five vertices of the regular pentagon and that makes the regular pentagon cyclic. So let's say that ABCDE is the pentagon of which we want to find the area. So as we proved it will be cyclic. Uh, that means a circle will pass through all of its five vertices. Let's say this is the circle and this is the center of the circle. Now if we draw a triangle joining O, D and C will be this triangle. We can very easily prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle which means these two are exactly same copy of each other which will be congruent to this triangle and will be congruent to this triangle and to this triangle. So that means the total area of the pentagon is sum of the areas of these five congruent triangles. So if we can find out area of one triangle and multiply it by five, that will be the area of the pentagon. Let us start drawing the diagram according to the problem. We are given a regular pentagon ABCDE which is inscribed within a circle. Let's take that circle. And let's say O is the center of that circle. 
we are given another pentagon which is inscribing the circle itself so let us draw that pentagon this is the pentagon that we have now that pentagon does not look very good to me so at a, what i'll do i'll rotate this pentagon the outer pentagon in a certain angle so that the sides of the outer pentagon becomes parallel to the sides of inner pentagon and this is the position now when i rotate it the area of the outer pentagon does not change now let's join ol and om and we can understand that d and c will lie on the line segment ol and om so the triangle ocd the triangle ocd times 5 should be the area of the inner pentagon and triangle olm times 5 should be the area of the outer pentagon so if we can compare the area of the triangle odc and triangle olm that will be enough to compare the areas of inner and outer pentagon also understand one more thing that in this position of these two pentagons the triangle ocd and the triangle olm should be similar why because we know dc and lm are parallel so in that case this angle odc should be equal to olm and angle ocd should be equal to om so these two triangles become similar now we will see what is the relation between the areas of two similar triangles we have two triangles abc and pqr which are similar then it is very easy to prove that the triangles bdc and qsr will also be similar where bd and qs are altitudes of this triangles respectively now if these two triangles are similar then we can say that the ratio of the sides of a abc and pqr such as ab over pq will be same as bd over qs so we can say that bd over qs would be equal to ac by pr so ac by pr is the ratio of the sides and bd by qs is the ratio of the altitudes now from this fact we can also say ratio of the area of abc and pqr which is half into bd into ac over half into qs into pr should be bd by qs whole square as ac by pr is equal to bd by qs now we want to compare the ratio of areas of ocd and oml where we know ocd triangle is similar to the triangle olm so we we can say that the ratio of area of ocd by olm should be equal to square of their altitudes so let us drop a altitude of these triangles so let's say this is the altitude and it meets dc at x and lm at y so ocd by olm should be equal to ox by oy whole square okay now we will figure out what is ox and what is oy now if i join ad and ac it is very easy to understand that this angle should be 36 you can comment down why this is 36 now if this angle is 36 then the central angle this is a angle made from the subtended from the chord dc on the circle and in the same chord this is the central angle so this central angle should be twice of this angle so this angle should be 72 degrees and as this triangle ocd is isosceles so these two angles has to be 
54 and 54. So in that case, from the triangle O, X, D, O, X should be equal to O, D, sine 54. Now if we assume O, D to be the radius of the circle which is R, let's call this R, then O, X is equal to R sine 54. Similarly, O, Y is again the radius of the circle. It is nothing but R again. O, Y is R. So, O, Y is equal to R. So, the ratio of O, C, D and O, L, M is basically R sine 54 over R whole square, which is sine square 54 degrees and which is equivalent to cos square 36 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thank you for watching. We'll meet in the next video.